How long have you lived here? In Granville County, probably 47 or 8 years. And to the generation would you today. say a lot of people that come into the store are people from out of town? Are they mostly people from Granville County and Oxford? And It's a mix. We have wonderful Oxford customers that are loyal to us. We have groups of ladies that come from Cary, from Raleigh, Roxborough, Henderson, Pinehurst. I mean, they just come in and tour Oxford. They'll take towns and go to different oh, towns wow. and, and look at what you have. And we have so many things here like Revlon, Macro Lace. We have a lot going. We've lost a lot. We lost Lennox, China. And Were those so, manufacturing plants mm -hmm. they had here? Okay. But they moved them away. Right. You know, they didn't close down. They just moved. We produce in North Carolina and Granville County hot sauces. Oh, we yeah. We saw hot, those signs. We have right. a hot sauce contest, and one of the biggest produces on the East Coast is about five miles out of Oxford. Wow. Really? What's the name? You know the name? Bailey Farms. Bailey Farms, yes. They have been featured yeah, on the Food Network. There. Okay. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest strength of Oxford as a, as a community? Hmm. What keeps you here? Well, family, family, basically. And I would never go anywhere else. But everybody I know and everybody I love and loyal to my downtown business, I do not shop out of town. That's great. I, I do not go to the malls. And we have seen in the past few months more people are coming back to the small towns rather than go to the malls and keeping the monies in their hometown. And where do you see Oxford in 50 years from now? What's it going to look like if you had to picture it? Well, I definitely won't be around. <laughs> I definitely would hope that the well, these girls, will, these girls will still be here, will right? Be. Would it, would I would it? like to think the historical, you know, look would still be maintained. Newer businesses, more businesses, reopen some of these downtown stores, you know, that aren't open. Are you pretty hopeful then for the, the I future am very of Oxford? Hopeful. Yeah. And then do you get? Do you think that's just you, or do you think people around I think the community it's, are pretty hopeful? It's not just me. Okay. It's, it's, we have a committee that works hard. It's just a lot going on for Oxford. Our mayor works hard. The economic committee works hard. And we have people that's really working hard.